talking about converting to all number types. We're going to be converting fractions to decimals and percents and all around in between. So we're going to start off, these are our notes that you'll have in front of you. Um, we're going to start off with the fraction 5, 6. I'm thinking, how do I uh, figure this out? So I need to figure out what 5, 6 is as a decimal. So first, I divide the top by the bottom. Okay, so think about that line on a fraction as like a division sign. So I would do 5 divided by 6. And so I'll figure that out. Get my calculator out. So in my calculator, I would do 5 divided by 6. And it gives me 0 0.83 or 83 hundredths. And so I would write down 83 hundredths. And so I do top divided by bottom. Now, how do I convert that now to a percent? Well, we need to convert it to a decimal, which we just did. And then all we do is we move our decimal point two places to the right. So I have 83 hundredths. I'm going to move it two places to the right. And then I put my percentage sign up. So 83 hundredths is actually 83%. In fact, the word percent means out of 100. So this means 83 out of 100. So that's what that means. So let's go down to our decimal where we're dealing with 25% or uh, 25 hundredths. Okay, to convert this to a percent, we just do what we did up top. We convert it to a decimal. And so, which we have. And so we move the decimal point two places to the right. So I just take zero and 25 hundredths, and I move it one, two places to the right. So I now have 25%. Not a big deal, or 25 out of 100. To make a fraction from a decimal, we can convert it to a percent and make it over 100, or we can just say it. 25, 0.25 is actually 25 hundredths, which sounds a lot like a fraction form of 25 hundredths. Okay, because ours is a uh, ours is a decimal system, which is base 10, and so every part is in tenths, hundredths, thousandths. It's a power of 10. So what I do now is write what I say, 25 hundredths, and now I reduce it, and I do reducing by simplifying into an equivalent fraction by dividing the top and bottom by the same factor. So I can see this as uh, dividing both those by 25, and I get 1 fourth. And that would be my fraction, 1 fourth. Okay, so that is converting decimals to fractions. So let's take a look at one more. We're going to be converting percents. And I'm going to put this up here. We have 48%. How do I convert that to a decimal? Well, all I simply do is do the opposite of what I went when I did decimal 2%. Instead of moving the decimal point two places to the right, I'm going to move my decimal point. I'm going to drop that percent sign, and I'm going to move it two places to the left. Okay, So 48% turns into 48 hundredths because I put my decimal point here. I'm going to make that in blue and then I move it one, two places to the left to get it as to be 48 hundredths. Okay? And as a fraction, I write the percent over 100 because it's out of 100. So percent means 48 out of 100. So I reduce, and that would give me dividing top and bottom by 2 over 2. It's going to give me 24 fiftieths which is going to give me 12 25ths, and that would be where I can stop. That's the smallest I can go. So that is converting all different numbers. You have those steps in front of you in your notes. So when you're practicing, you can take a look at your notes, and with more practice, you will get a lot more fluent with converting in between the different types of numbers.